very good morning this is Penuel the black pen I hope you'll be able to hear me because uh, I've got a bit of a noisy background um, as I was taking a drive this morning the topic that I wanted to discuss was cause um, especially in, a, in an age where we deal with a lot of peer pressure and a whole lot of social pressure um, I find that a lot of graduates a lot of people especially in industries like entertainment where you're freelancing and you don't make um, stable income a lot of people go for cars that they can't afford they end up becoming repossessed or whatever the case may be um, my advice for you is when you are starting out when you're an undergraduate number one if you can go home and see if your parents have a extra car that you can use either for free or pay them a, a small fee to take that car and use it which will become very advantageous for you and your finances moving forward if you cannot do that start very small what does that mean it means start with a second-hand car i do not understand why a lot of graduates don't want to buy second-hand cars it blows my mind as soon as you leave a garage <clears throat> i'm talking about brand new cars as soon as you leave a garage about half of the value of the car disappears as soon as you leave and you drive out so please go for second-hand cars and when you go for second-hand cars go for old trusted brands a Toyota Taz is very good an Opel Corsa is very good go for those strong trusted old cars that are relatively cheap that are relatively cheap to maintain this is very important to make sure that your cash flow can sustain whatever happens to the car secondly if you are buying a car try and get a personal loan don't go for vehicle financing why do I say this I say this because if you buy if you get a personal loan you can then go and buy the car cash Buying it cash allows you to actually negotiate a much better price for the car with the dealership, with the dealer that you're buying from. Secondly, and very important, is when you are buying a car cash, your insurance, car insurance payments are so much lower than someone who's buying a car on, on installment from the bank, right? When you buy a car cash, because you don't owe the bank, the insurance company knows that if ever anything happens the car is completely in your control it's not owned by the bank so they can give you better offers they can give you it, you don't have to get the car on comprehensive insurance but you can get third party liability um etc which can reduce your in insurance payments maybe from an amount like 1000 rand to something ridiculous like 500 rand so look into this now if you want to upgrade your vehicles if you want to upgrade your standard of living um, sorry I've got ducks in the background um, if you want to upgrade your standard of living save money what does this mean if you're buying a second-hand car for 50,000 Rand right um, save maybe a thousand Rand 2,000 Rand a month and every year every second year take 10,000 20,000 go trade your car in and then buy something better in this way you constantly have a car that's paid off your insurance payments are constantly going to be lower and you'll be much happier when you're struggling with finances when you lose your job because you'll have this asset that is paid off that is yours and that won't be repossessed let's become smarter in how we play the money game let's become smarter in how we deal with things like buying vehicles and other assets it's penuel the black pen have a great day and i love you